tonight's challenge? Find the 19 professional dancers in the crowd. It's hard to tell who's who at this gathering behind a Brooklyn art gallery, but suddenly they spring into action. Right, left, right, left, right. The space is transformed into a dance between performers and a sometimes confused audience. It was difficult to kind of get a sense of what, what I was allowed to and what, what I was allowed to do and what I wasn't allowed to do. That sort of edge of performance and involvement I find really exciting in a show. Blurring the line between artist and spectator. Quebecois choreographer Noemi LaFrance is again breaking from convention with her latest dance installation, <laughs> the White Box Project. She's chosen this concrete courtyard for a site-specific performance in which the space itself influences the creative process. We wanted to change up the space. We open up a hole, and then another hole, then we make the audience move over here, and then we work on another part, and then the inverse. The France has made a career out of turning public spaces into staging grounds for breathtaking spectacles. Dancers suspended on chairs off the Brooklyn Bridge, nude forms taking over an abandoned swimming pool, an acrobatic routine on the roof of a Frank Gehry designed art center. Theater has become a bit monotonous for me. I think dance is really connected with what's going on with your body every day, how you move, and I really wanted to show dance in the context of real places. She's won several awards for her choreography already, and now La France is planning her biggest show yet. This time, she's going one step further, inviting the public to make up the dance themselves.